This is KSL, your news specialist, with Dini Wimmer, Dave McCann, and Mike Hedrick. Athletes these days are training with all sorts of high-tech gadgets to give them that competitive edge in the game. But some bizarre new goggles may be producing the most surprising results yet. Tonight, new specialist Ed Yates went to the Orthopedic Specialty Hospital to watch Utah athletes in training who are intentionally disrupting signals from their eyes to their brains. All right, here we go. Dustin Bybee juggles a soccer ball while wearing some unique goggles. With the strobe, it's while looking like conventional sunglasses, there's more here than meets the eye. See for yourself. Okay, so with the glasses on. These vapor strobes developed by Nike blink on and off, disrupting visual signals transmitted from the eyes to the brain. Flashing in sync is literally cutting off my vision of the ball, if just for a second or two. What that does is force the brain to work harder. Turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. That Dustin, who trains good. soccer players under Tasha's research program, has worn the vapor strobes enough this point, to see a difference. See Take the glasses off now. With the glasses and off? I mean, there's, there's no inhibition. I can see what's going on at all times. My touch is much better. My balance is much better. The brain picks up much more information, including that from the athlete's peripheral vision. Okay. When the glasses are removed, the retrained brain perceives a ball in motion with a whole new perspective. Well, the fact that you've taken information away, taken away pieces of that trajectory, when you take the glasses off, the ball actually goes into slow motion. In soccer, coming off of the foot, you can react to that better because you can see where, you know, you can anticipate where the ball is going better. The glasses were strange at first for the Utah Glory team. Yeah, it's definitely different. It's shocking at first because you don't know what to expect. But with glasses off, the game perceptually slowed down, though good, unfolding good. in real time. Mm -hmm, yeah, it was easier without them because you could see and you could more anticipate it and perceive it as it comes to you. Okay, yeah. okay put your head on. In baseball, the strobes force players to anticipate more acutely. You can even close off one eye, strengthening the non-dominant eye. I've got this right eye strobing, and if I was a baseball hitter and the pitcher is on my left, then it's going to force me to turn my head all the way around and get my body in position to use both eyes to focus on the ball and I'm going to see it coming better. For Brighton High School hitter Cage Matuzak, the ball appeared bigger. Uh, it keeps your shoulders in, keeps your head down, it makes you focus on the ball with this right eye instead of having to come out with your shoulders and keeps you more in sync on going the opposite way. Players even see the rotating seams on the ball. Beautiful. Seems bigger. But boy, after I took the glasses off that first time, not only did, like he said, it looked bigger, but it, you could actually see the seams. Athletes in all kinds of sports simply see things they've never sensed before. Ed Yates, KSL 5 News at Tasha's Research Center. It's a fascinating concept. These glasses have multiple settings, allowing athletes to progress and challenge the brain at different levels. Tosh is one of only three pilot centers in the country currently testing the strobes. How about so that? So we want the wind to go down to slow motion. These are the glasses. This is what you do. I think this is what you do. You, you know, it's cool. Can you can adjust the speed of it. <laughs> you know, true. it goes from one to eight, and so it uh, lets you know, you know, kind of how fast it's <laughs> yeah. how fast it's going. You thought our weather was cool before. <laughs> Wait till this you watch awesome. it with yeah. these glasses on. Yeah.